Summertime, the perfect time to travel, hang out with friends and family, or simply pick up a new hobby. Regardless of how you choose to spend your time, there are a lot of things that you could do. In my case, I thought I'd pick up a new game that'll destroy my wallet, and then proceed to tell you why this game deserves not just your wallet, but also your entire soul. At this point, you already know the drill. I play new game, I talk about said game, and hopefully get you to actually play the game. So, if you're looking for a new experience to try out as of late, or if you ever find yourself at a round 1, I'd like to introduce you to this interesting little game called Sound Voltex. Sound Voltex, otherwise referred to as SDVX, is a Bimani franchise that started in 2012 as Sound Voltex Booth, and has gone 6 iterations with the newest version, Sound Voltex Exceed Gear, releasing just this year. With elaborate theming, the game takes on this futuristic aesthetic and an emphasis on remixing songs with sound effects. If you've ever played Arkea, you'll definitely begin to see some of the similarities between the two in terms of gameplay. Though despite its relative obscurity in the states, it is actually one of the biggest games in the rhythm game genre, and for good reason. From its intense gameplay to a great soundtrack, as well as the amount of content that is in this game. The overall control scheme consists of four big white buttons, however what distinguishes it from other games is the addition of two buttons on the lower row called FX buttons and a knob on each side. As you load up a credit and start a game, you'll be prompted to pick a song and its difficulty, which is denoted by four tiers and a certain number. Once you make your selection, you can modify the note speed to make charts easier to read by turning the blue knob while holding the start button, and once you find a speed you are comfortable with, you can press the two FX buttons on the bottom to start the song. Notes will begin to fall on a vertical track, and you must press the corresponding buttons in time with the music, in addition to the blue and pink lasers which requires you to turn the knobs of the corresponding color. The standard objective of SDVX is to fill up a gauge called the effective rate to over 70% before the song ends, which is accomplished through hitting these notes while missing them will cause the gauge to decrease instead. As for why you might want to try SDVX, there are quite a few reasons to dedicate time and money to our Japanese overlord Konami. For one, the learning curve is what I'd say mid-range. It's not as easy as a dance rush or waka, but it's definitely not challenging to the point where it'll take you months only to pass low-level songs. Ensuring that despite how intimidating the control scheme looks at first, a newer player wouldn't be totally overwhelmed while being engaged enough to not fall asleep. This is especially true if you come from Friday Night Funkin', since it's literally just that but with two extra knobs and two extra buttons, adding a lot more depth as it allows for more complex patterns and dynamic movements. Aside from all that, let's be real here, the game makes you feel like a freaking DJ. <laughs> Another strength of the game is a clear and straightforward unlock system, as all you need to do is spend an X amount of the game's currency, called PCB, to unlock a certain song, rarely with any prerequisites. Giving players a sense of progression while avoiding the problem of having a convoluted process of unlocking songs that are often seen in other games such as in Pump It Up. Not only that, the amount of PCB that you get per song prevents the game from feeling too grindy, although the amount of songs unlocked by default is already large enough in and of itself that you rarely feel the need to actually unlock anything for a good while. Speaking of songs, the song selection is nothing to scoff at, with more than a thousand songs spanning multiple different genres with artists that you might be familiar with, such as Camellia. In fact, a lot of the songs that you find in other games such as Osu and Beat Saber can be found in Sound Voltex, so you have some sense of familiarity if you are coming from those games with songs like Brain Power and Citrus coming to mind. There are also a lot of licensed Vocaloid and Toho songs, as well as tracks crossed over from other rhythm games such as Chinatham and Groove Coaster. Not to mention the fact that Konami also has this thing called Sound Voltex Floor, which allows people to submit their own songs to potentially be used in the game, highlighting the community aspect of the franchise. However, that's not all it has to offer in terms of content. The game also features other modes such as Excessive Rate, which operates more in line with traditional rhythm games, as instead of filling up the gauge, you must pass the song while preventing your life bar from going down to zero. In addition, there is also a mode called Skill Analyzer, which functions as a sort of ranked mode that you see in other games. What it essentially does is that it gives you a set of songs to play through consecutively with only one life bar, and at the end of the set, it gives you a rank ranging from First Dawn to Infinite Dawn, giving you quite the challenge challenge if you feel up for it. Oh, and let's not forget about the waifus, which is arguably the best part. Should you want to try out SDVX sometime, keep in mind that they do not have a US localization, and thus most of the game's text is in Japanese, but it's pretty easy to navigate the UI after some tries, 
Though if that doesn't bother you, then round 1 is your best bet, while some of the smaller local arcades may have an older version. When it comes to actually playing, bring a wired headset to prevent noise bleed from the other arcade machines and to further immerse yourself in the music. And I know I sound like a shill, but consider buying into the e-amusement service as you gain the ability to save your progress, unlocks, and your scores. But if you're in a place where SDVX is not as accessible, you'd be delighted to find out that SDVX also has a big homebrew community in Case Shoot Mania and the unnamed SDVX clone, with replica controllers that you could buy from Yuancon and other hobby shops. To close, I hope many of you take the chance to try out SDVX sometime. Its similarity to games like Arkea and Friday Night Funkin' make it a great fit for someone looking to expand their horizons after dipping their toes in 4 key rhythm games, while still being engaging enough to someone just passing by. Yet, the complexity and challenge it presents at higher levels makes the game much more satisfying to play as you get better and better, being truly a spectacle to watch, reminiscent of all those Osu School talent show videos. Not only that, the franchise definitely deserves recognition for its beast of a soundtrack that not only has the quantity, but also the quality to back it up, in addition to the unique way of integrating the community through Sound Vault Explore. Also, its progression system is rewarding, and the unlock system is easy to understand without feeling like you have to sink a ton of credits to fully enjoy this game, with the near endless amount of content being the icing on an already loaded cake. And come on guys, the waifus, and for the ladies, there's husbandos too, so what's not to love? But really though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.